Welcome to the 2021 Economic Depression and Preparation Channel. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining me once again on this Friday, July 9th edition. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the economy. We're going to be talking about the where the jobs are in this economy and also about the climate change. Um, we're going to be talking about how the earthquake in California and how the other black swan climate events could be also be breaking this economy coming into the second half of 2021. Half the year is gone already. Can you believe it already? Please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends and neighbors, cohorts, that uh, this is the place to be for the 100% truth of what's going on in the in the financial world um, for America and what's to come so that you can be prepared as well as myself as well and our families. Uh, let's get right into it, guys. Uh, here is what we're looking at. Uh, one moment here. We're looking at uh, the jobs are. First, the Dow Jones jumps 440 points today as you know it rebounded from the one day slide it was up 440 points and what's interesting about this is that the rallies that they we're seeing in the dow jones the s p 500 and the nasdaq are all record highs today it's just crazy and what's what's really crazy is that we have all these job losses we just lost 450,000 jobs on thursday uh even though the economy is quote unquote reopening Things are still not back to normal. There's still businesses that are closing and not just malls, but in everywhere and in, in small commercial districts and in, in these towns and cities that I've been seeing as I traveled. Um, and people are saying that they're not getting the work that they used to get. Uh, they're getting more part time hours, even self-employed business. People are getting part time hours and contracts here and there. It's not as steady as it used to be. Um, and NPR was reporting this morning that the housing market is is starting to start the supply of houses is starting to be more supply of houses on the market i don't know how true that is because i've seen hedge funds come in and buy up whole neighborhoods um like blackrock they were saying two weeks ago that blackrock was buying up a lot of the um, neighborhoods and they plan on reselling it back to us renting it renting it back to us at a higher price as you know rentals in cities such as phoenix and la and las vegas um in seattle and also in the midwest have been going up um as well so there's pressure on the rental market pressure on the housing market and the dow jones in spite of all of this was up 440 points on record uh and then uh the jobs chart as you said that they said that the people that are returning from furlough now they're working i know in dc um the dc government not the federal government but the dc city government they said they're returning to the offices now uh they're open for business they're returning to the offices for work and so people are coming off of furlough and these are the what the net jobs are at they're saying that's in leisure and hospitality government of course uh professional and business services retail trade but look at these numbers guys um 343k um thousand in leisure and hospitality now remember we have an eligible workforce if we're at full employment of 160 million working adults men women and and, and children uh but of that we know we have at least 30 million who are unemployed and 15 million who are underemployed, meaning they're working two or three side jobs to make one full income. And not only that, I don't know about you, but have you seen in a lot of these neighborhoods and a lot of these apartments and, and, and townhomes and, and even houses, you're seeing four and five cars in the driveway. You're seeing multi-family, multi-generational families living together. And this is one of the reasons why, because if you look at our jobs chart, look at this, leisure and hospitality, 344. 3,000 jobs, government, 188,000 jobs. Now, this may sound like a lot, but you have to remember, we have, like I said, we have 30 million unemployed. We have an unemployment rate at 6%. We have, at, we're not even at full employment. Um, and we have this small amount, and this is not counting the college graduates who just graduated last year, in, I mean, sorry, last month in June, with all kinds of professional degrees, lawyers, doctors, uh, you know, accountants, uh, IT, uh, all all those sectors, where are they going to get jobs? Most likely in government or in or in professional or business services. They added 70, 72,000 jobs. Are most likely overseas. A lot of young American millennials are working overseas now as expats because they feel like even though the cost of living is a little bit higher, they can get more bang for their buck since the dollar is kind of fading away. But look at healthcare. Healthcare only created twenty thousand jobs in June. Um, only added information only added 14,000 jobs so this is why China is going to become the next superpower look at this construction we lost 7,000 jobs in construction when is the last time you've seen uh it used to be 15 to 20 years ago you would see nothing but trailers on the roads full with guys uh brick masons and, and electricians and plumbers with these trailers hauling things to different sites doing jobs now you don't see that everything is prefabricated 
made from overseas, brought over here, prefabricated and assembled, guys. No jobs, no job creation in utilities. How are we going to start an infrastructure bill with Biden and there's no President Biden and there's no jobs and utilities? Look, plus net zero jobs. Financial activities. We lost a thousand jobs in financial activities. So you know we're headed toward a big, big depression. And then to top it off, in June, we have the hottest on record in the United States as a 40-year toll of major climate disasters reaches $2 trillion. This is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. Did you guys see that earthquake in California, by the way? California earthquake sends boulders tumbling on, tumbling on a major highway. In the Sierra Nevada, they had a 6.0 earthquake out there near Highway 395 that stretches all the way from Mammoth Lakes, Mammoth Lakes, California, up to Sierra Nevada chain. They had, and they've been having aftershocks for the last two days now. This is just a precursor of what's to come. The big one is coming, whether it hits San Fran or LA or somewhere in between, they're on the fault line. And these huge boulders, people were tweeting out here, Caltrans landed on the road and closed a lot of these roads on Highway 395 in the Sonora Junction. So guys, things like this can cut your access off to food, water, medicine, distribution. If they can't get to your community because there's a landslide or an earthquake or a hurricane or something, thank God Elsa uh, didn't turn out to be much, uh, which was good. The tropical storm or hurricane didn't turn out to be much. So that was good news. Thank God for that. But this aftershocks and earthquakes when the ground starts shaking this is why you need to be prepared because you may not be near a water source it erupts at the water lines you're not you don't have any water you don't have power guess what you're going to be out of luck and so that's why we stress preparedness of this channel but this is something to be concerned about because i've already spent like i said two trillion dollars on climate disasters and this is just going to grow because we have hurricane season earthquake season fire season and what if the big one strikes this year for california or for another state what if they get a 7.0 or 8.0 it's coming you know it's coming so uh my friends there be blessed out those who live out west get prepared always have an emergency plan because this things like this can happen so with this climate change we're going to have one billion dollar we've had 2021 with this billion dollar disasters the drought and heat wave as you can see here we've had the flooding in california the drought is ongoing in the west that hasn't subsided uh and this is going to be the black swan event i believe between this the brownouts um with the electricity right the blackouts with the electricity which is coming the climate disaster and also the third the trifecta is the um the, like i said the depression the locking up the freezing of credit and personal lines of credit wells fargo today freeze personal lines of credit and they're in big trouble everybody's worried about deutsche bank in germany but just as an aside wells fargo is going having in big trouble and a lot of banks are going to have because remember how this whole thing got started this whole depression got started because the banks were in liquidity crisis they had lent out too much money and they didn't have enough in reserves fractional reserves and so then the fed started going into the repo market and buying 120 billion dollars of bonds every year every month excuse me and this is what we're in the crisis so remember it's going to end that way so save your dollars and make your dollars work for you but this right here this all of these severe storms that are going on look at this and uh eastern severe weather we had tornadoes march 24 march 25th this just is in one half of the year this is just the first half of the year the only thing that's ongoing um right now is the western drought and heat wave uh that's ongoing right now and the fire concern um but this is not including anything else hurricanes or earthquakes that can happen in the united states um or any brownouts or blackouts that can happen or cyber attacks which you've been seeing now they say they hacked the grocery store chain or something like that did you guys see that too as well unbelievable but this is all part of the plan to break the middle class to break the u.s consumer down so that um the rest of the world can come up and not only that it's part of a plan that one percent have to own everything and we will be renters and we'll be happy um the rest of the future generations will be paying this back for, for, for years california, california governor gavin newsom calling for voluntary cut water consumption up to 15 percent see if you had your own water supply you wouldn't be worried about having to be in the city's water supply that they get from the Colorado River that everybody shares, that they tell you that you can't water your garden, you can't water your garden on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever. You have so many restrictions when you're in these city urban environments that they can do because they need this, they need the resources. Remember, these renewable resources are not renewable. These are non-renewable resources. So, guys, I'm going to leave it right there for the day. I just want to touch base with you. I am back in... Um, and full force hopefully the audio was better on this video i'm sorry about the previous video with the echo i was away and in a different studio and i didn't have all my equipment with me at the time thank you for your support god bless you and have a great weekend get some rest refuel your body with positive thoughts and positive fuel stay prayed up 
And uh, I'll talk to you very soon next time. See you later.